Hi, folks. It's Antar, and I'm back with my 42nd narrated Wi-Fi battle. Um, this is my Sam team going against a random Asian opponent. I assume they're Asian. I don't actually know for that for a fact. Anyway, I start off with Empoleon, who I figure can take Blaziken. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and use Hydro Pump. Um, I don't know why I wasn't predicting a fighting-type move. Um, really, this has kind of sealed the... I uh, really... Uh, should switch out that lychee berry for a focus sash, um, as uh, Empoleon does carry on um, my six versus six version of this team. Uh, this is just getting ridiculous. That uh, lychee berry is never going to activate. Um, so anyway, I'm one Pokemon down, and I send out Zapdos, who will resist Blaziken's um, fighting type attacks. Um, he's got you know minus one attack anyway, so he decides to switch out. Um, and in his place, he sends out Clefable, so I'm like, oh, jeez. Clefable is a wall, and um, Zapdos just doesn't have the firepower to deal with him. Um, I get the Parahax, which is nice, um, but I decide that I'm not going to keep Zapdos in because it's just not going to be able to, uh, you know, withstand whatever Clefable is going to do. Uh, and so I go ahead and send out Umbreon, um, my shiny Umbreon. Uh, and he goes ahead and uses Moonlight to heal off the damage, so I'm like, ah, oh, well, oh well, too bad. Um, yeah, and I figure this is not going to go well, so I go ahead and use Curse. Uh, and so here we have two very bulky Pokemon, um, you know, who are very capable of walling, and this is going to get very boring very fast. Sorry, folks. Um, yeah, so uh, he goes ahead and uses Trick, um, which I was not expecting at all, um, which, you know, I can't imagine. I was like, wow, he got really lucky there because he gets my Lumberry, and so he gets rid of his Paralysis. So I'm like, wow, that's so lucky for him. Anyway, I get um, poisoned by his Toxic Orb. Um, Toxic Orb is a great Pokemon to have on Clefable um, because of Magic Guard. Uh, it doesn't take any damage from the poison, and meanwhile it gets the boost, for, uh, you know, it's prevented from... Uh, getting any other kind of status conditions, um, and also can use Facade. Uh, anyway, he goes ahead and uses Cosmic Power. I go ahead and use Heal Bell to get rid of the poison, and I'm not sure what's going to happen here. So I do recover from the poison, but then the um, Toxic Orb reactivates, which just sucks. Um, I was really hoping that it wouldn't reactivate that, uh, you know, once you got rid of the status, that would be it. But no such luck. And so now I'm going to have to put up with poison. Meanwhile, he's just keeps gaining stats. It's going to make him harder and harder to kill. So I, I go ahead and uh, use Curse. He goes ahead and uses Cosmic Power while I use Curse, and we're just going to have some back and forth. I'm trying to speed this up as much as possible because this was just a stall war. This was just an ugly, ugly, ugly stall war. Um, and periodically I'm having to use Heal Bell and Moonlight to get rid of um, the poison damage, which is slowly building. Um, actually building at an accelerating rate. Anyway, he goes ahead and uses Trick at this point, and I'm like, huh, why would he do that? That doesn't really make any sense. Um, you know, but it works for me. I just wish I'd used Heal Bell instead of um, Moonlight on that turn. Um, but this is why he wants or he wants to get poisoned himself, um, yeah, and the poison is going to keep on growing for me. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead, even though I've only had five curses so far, um, I'm, and he's had six moonlights, I'm going to go ahead and use um, Payback to see what it'll do. Uh, yeah, and I get that um, Toxic Orb back. Thanks a lot. Oi, oi, oi. Anyway, I go ahead and use Payback, which does eh, not much damage. Um, and certainly, considering he has a recovery move, uh, this is going to be a long and tedious battle. But look at the... So... Um, Facade, even boosted uh, thanks to the poison, does nothing. Um, and I, I and I just got my sixth curse there, so it's going to do even less than nothing. Um, Umbreon is going to be able to tank it just as well as Clefable, and we have a full-blown stall war here. Um, neither one of us is going to be able to break through our defenses, so it's just a matter of who's going to run out of PP first. This is going to, I figure this is just going to, take forever, and this is just going to go straight to the, um, this is just going to go straight to a struggle war, um, or, you know, whoever runs out of recovery moves faster, and I figure, you know, chances are not good for me because I've got the, po I've got the poison, 
um, and he's not taking any damage from poison, and so this is not necessarily good for Umbreon. Um, so I'm gonna, I just keep on using payback as often as I can to try to rack up as much damage as I can, but this is just not gonna, this is not going well for me. Um, this is a losing battle, and, um, you know, I'm just wasting my time, uh, but I gotta keep going, I just gotta keep going because I'm not gonna, you know, Zapdos isn't gonna be able to do anything else, um, and I just, it's not worth switching out, um, so, and I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna quit, but, so I just gotta keep on recovering from the poison when I can, um, and I just gotta keep on doing as much damage as I can, as often as I can, and hoping that maybe he gets cocky, or maybe, I don't know, maybe I'll get a critical hit. Um, yeah, so I keep on using payback, um, and he's, you know, it's doing maybe a quarter damage, um, and, you know, I'm risking kind of a lot right now because uh, I'm I'm down to pretty low HP. So if he gets the crit, I'm totally screwed. Um and I've just gotta keep my health high. Um Eclafable keeps using facade. At this point, you know, it doesn't need to do you know, it just needs to heal up when it can. And I'm I'm just hoping that maybe he didn't use PP Max or something. I don't know, but this is not I'm not happy. I'm really worried at this point. Um yeah, facade. I'm sorry, this is so boring, guys. Uh, I promise it gets better. Um, but oh man. Uh, yeah, so I'm just healing off the damage. This is getting really, really repetitive. I don't know, maybe I should start reciting Shakespeare or something. Um, I really wish I had the editing skills to speed up selective parts of this video, but I don't actually know how to do that in, um, AVI Demux, um, which is the software that I use. Um, yeah, so I'm playing it, I'm just really desperate to get in as much damage as possible, and I'm playing it really close, um, to the low threshold. Uh, and here I get the critical hit, uh, and I take down Clefable. Uh, I couldn't believe that that had happened. Uh, I was so happy. I was like, yes, yes, I can't believe I got that crit, and Umbreon's got like, I don't know, 1 16th HP left. You know, if there was a standstorm going, I'd be dead. You know, he sends out Azumarill, and um, I figure, oh well, you know, maybe he'll miss, or maybe he's, I don't know. Um, but, yeah, he goes ahead and uses Aqua Tail, which was a bad move on his part. He should have done something that had 100% accuracy, in my opinion, um, because that could have missed. Uh, Aqua Tail does not have perfect accuracy. Actually, Aqua Tail is a bad move to use in general. Uh, you usually want to go with Waterfall, at least in my opinion. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and send out Zapdos, and I'm going to go ahead and use Discharge, um, which I get another critical hit here, which I'm like, wow, I don't know that I deserve that. But I also don't know that that critical hit mattered. It was super effective, and Zapdos does have decent special attack. So, yeah, and so his final Pokemon is Blaziken, and so I'm like, ah, oh, sweet, I've won this. I'm so happy, uh, and I just can't believe it. I'm ecstatic about the winning the Stall War. And then he gets a crit, so, you know, you live by the crit, you die by the crit. But you know what? Even though I lost, I'm still thrilled because I won the Stall War. I beat his Clefable, and it's just making me the happiest, you know, I could be. So, yeah, this was a good match. Um, sorry for the boring part. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge.